So this is the VeraChat client. Now VeraChat is its own standalone program, but it still utilizes that same Vera modem. And so what this allows us to do is have one-to-one, -one, peer to peer instant messaging sessions uh, from one person to the other. Now what's really cool is recently, like in the last week or two, um, they've come out with the ability to call CQ on Vera uh, and find other people to chat with, which is really, really interesting. Um, I haven't played with it yet, so we're just gonna do a one-to-one -one transmission uh, calling my friend Dan, uh, KB0TDW, down in Omaha. Before I do that, I just want to show you my uh, setup here so you can see my settings. This is uh, the default ports here. We are, of course, using it in HF mode here. 2300 hertz is the bandwidth that we're going to be utilizing. In terms of the PTT setup for the radio, very similar. Again, uh, COM port 4 is for USB audio codec for me. Uh, it could be different for you. Just keep that in mind. 19200 uh, is what I have currently set up on my radio, so that's what I'm using there for my BOD. And then ICOM IC7300 and 94. And and cat for the control. So once I do that, uh, Dan knows what frequency to use. He is waiting for me. We are on 40 meter daytime here, 7.085. And uh, he is waiting for my call. So let's go ahead and give him a call and see if we can't make a connection with Dan. I'm going to go ahead and click on connect up top. It's going to pop open this box. And this is where you just type in their call sign. Uh, so that's his call, KB0TDW. Let's go ahead and click on connect. Immediately, my radio is going to start sending data. Take a listen. So you can hear Dan's radio coming back there. And so now you'll notice on the screen it says K0LWC, KB0TDW at 2147.40. So I'm going to put good afternoon, Dan. How are you able to copy my transmission? And then I'm going to click return. As soon as I do that, my radio will start to transmit that information. As soon as it completes that transmission, you'll see it pop up here in the box. There it goes. So now it's popping up and looking exactly the same on Dan's screen. What's really unique about this, you can not only chat, you can actually send files back and forth. Now, let me just warn you. If you're not paying for the upgraded version of the Vera modem, it's incredibly slow, like unusably slow. But you can still play with it to see just how fun it is. Um, you really cannot, you know, do much with it. Um, so don't think you're going to be sending a 4K video over Vera because it's not going to happen. So Dan says 5920 over. I'm going to say awesome. How are things in Omaha today? Question mark. Hit return and we'll just count. We're about five seconds in, about eight seconds, seven to eight seconds is what it took to send that message um, over to Dan. And again, I'm getting data back from his radio as he replies. Let's take a listen. So there's the actual data coming back from Dan as he uh, replies. Awesome. Doing a little HF today. All right. How are the bands? So we could go on and on and on and have this conversation. I could share files back and forth. And that is VeraChat in a nutshell. Um, just keep one thing in mind if you're just getting started into these digital modes. You do not want to run 100 watts trying to do this or WinLink if you can avoid it. Um, these are very, very, very high duty cycle modes. Um, you definitely don't want to toast your finals that much. So again, typically 10, 20, 30, 40 watts is more than enough to make contact over WinLink or with VeraChat. Again, if you have to increase it a little bit to increase reliability, great. But just keep in mind that you want to check your radio, give it a feel. If you have a final temperature gauge on it, watch that. You don't want to overheat your radio. This is not like sideband um, or even like FT8. FT8 is nothing compared to the stress you're putting your radio under doing like WinLink, for example, um, or trying to download a file. Downloading a file and sending a file on Vera is extremely stressful on your radio. So and another reason why I don't recommend it. So this is very chat. It's very cool. Let's just thank Dan uh, for coming in and uh, helping me out here. So let's say thank you, Dan. Appreciate the help. 73. I'll put my call sign. Keep in mind, though, I don't have to put my call sign here on text because just like WinLink, this will do IDing for you with CW. 
So in terms of when I sign off, it'll do my ID for me. But I just want to show you VeraChat because it is pretty cool. Um, it is something to play with. It's unique. If you get into digital modes, it's worth checking out. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful. It's a very long video. If you have any questions that I can help with, drop a comment down below. I will try my best to help you. Uh, and I said, don't forget to join the K0LWC Discord. We can also help you in there. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you again next time.